Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is a Barnes & Noble Nook tablet, which is a 7-inch tablet, which up until recently has been stuck running the default version of Android that Barnes & Noble ships with the tablet. It's a little bit unusual. It has a sort of unusual user interface here. And while people have been hacking this tablet for a while to uh, run custom desktops and application launchers and even the Google Android market, there are some things that have been difficult to do because it has a locked bootloader. So for instance, um, they haven't been able to install up until recently uh, custom recovery applications or replace the default version of Android that comes with it with something different such as the um, um, Cyanogen mod or uh, other custom applications. And that has all changed recently as uh, people have figured out not how to get rid of the locked bootloader but how to work around it in some ways. And so the uh, right now there's a tool that you can install on here that is called NookTab Recovery which lets you flash clockwork mod recovery. And all you have to do is fire the, uh, install this APK. You can download it from the XDA Developers Forum and you can find the link for how to do that at lilliputing.com. And then you just cl click the button that says flash CWM and it grants super user permission. The first time you run it, it's going to probably give you a little pop-up saying super user wants you to allow or deny. And then you just sort of wait a few seconds for it to, uh, to finish. And then once it's done, you click Reboot Recovery. You can also use the same application to install the stock recovery. So if you want to go back to the uh, recovery that came with the Nook tablet, whether you want to return it or do some sort of uh, more deep restore to the, the default software, you can use this to do that as well. So let's go ahead and reboot into recovery. And here we are. We've got Clockwork Mod Recovery going. And from here, you can use the volume keys and the Nook key to navigate. So let's say we can go to Reboot. We can install software from a zip. So if you have a zip file here with, say, the Google Apps package or other software, uh, eventually this will be one of the ways that you can install Signage and Mod. You can do that. Um, but there's actually nothing here. And how do we get back from here? <laughs> Let's go back. So now we're back at the main menu. You can also wipe data. Uh, you can wipe your cache partition. And the thing that I find the most useful right now is backup and restore. And from here you can uh, create a complete backup of all your system data uh, and you can store it on an SD card. <coughs> now when you click backup, it may get an error message here saying can't mount SD card even though there is one installed. And there's a pretty easy way around that. You just pop out your SD card and then click it back in and then try it again. So let's go back to back up and restore. Now if you don't want to do that you can also back up to internal SD card which is basically just the internal storage here but removable storage is um, takes up less space of your internal memory if you want it to, and it's uh, something that you can set aside uh, so that even if you lose your device or break your device, you can use that SD card to, uh, to back up on another device or to restore to another device. So let's go ahead and click backup one more time. And now it's creating a backup. Now this whole process is going to take a couple of minutes and I won't walk you through the whole thing, but then when it's done, you can just go ahead and navigate through the menus again using the volume keys and um, Click the Reboot Now and reboot directly back into the Barnes & Noble Nook tablet version of Android. Uh, we've got a little progress meter here showing that it's working along the bottom. And when it's done, I can boot back into Clockwork Mod at any time and restore. So if I make some changes to the system and I want to be able to restore from a previous backup, I can do that. Um, if at some point there is a version of, say, Signage and Mod or other custom software uh, running Android 4.0 or something else that's available for the Nook tablet, I can try it out. And if I don't like it, I can always go back to the backup that I'm creating right now using Clockwork Mod um, and use the version of Android that's based on Barnes & Noble software and based on Android 2.3 Gingerbread. So pretty cool stuff. Definitely makes hacking a little bit safer because now you do have a way to restore from a backup and it makes uh, hacking a little bit more possible because now there's a way to install uh, custom software from an SD card or from elsewhere um, using Clockwork Mod Recovery.
So, again, this is Brad Lender with Lilliputing, and a look at how to install Clockwork Mod Recovery on the Barnes & Noble Nook tablet.